So random seeds just dropped devlog 2 and we got four new fruits and four new weapons and honestly everything looked really good in my opinion there's obviously always going to be things you can nitpick and say they could be better but generally it looked pretty good this video was done on stream so if you hear me talking to myself i'm probably reading something from chat or something like that if you want to pull up next time make sure to hit the subscription button and also there's a lot of good information in this video so i definitely recommend you guys stay till the end but either way let's get straight into the video oh that's the light ult probably the I forgot the name Jewels of Light or something in GPS. A light like TP's like disappears though. This is the ultimate for Ox. Already seen this. Wait, I thought that was the ultimate. Maybe not. Yo, that looks OP as a bad bean. I get down. That's a, that's a move from the trailer. <laughs> it's an ad. Bro, the beam looks OP as hell. Imagine for bosses and just farming in general. Pika look broken. I feel like Pika gonna be top tier. Cause it got a weapon too on a fruit. The combat's been changed back to a block break knockback. Yo, is this quiet chat? Down tilt is now you hold This is kinda quiet for me. The reason for this is before it was colliding with the Q spec. Now you can just do jump, you can do the Q for weapons in the ear. Down tilt is jump space Q. Down to his jump space Q. But this combat stuff sound way more complicated than it probably is. Just gotta play. Louder. Your mic is too loud, hold on. Gotcha. Use it against you. Oh, you can also use it. Yeah, tell me this is better. Well. Oh, oh, I'm selling. I'm selling. Why can't I full screen it? The oh, there hit. we go. All right, next weapon. Uh, the next weapon is Perfect, thank you, okay. The first, uh, as you just saw, the first move is called Explosive Swipe. It has a rarity that also burn the player. The second move is called Napalm Strike. This is an air combo starter. This is a Don Krieg weapon. Now, the third move is Explosive Rage. It's kind of tough. This is a auto combo ability. What is auto burn combo? Burn your character as well. All right, uh, this weapon is called Hook. The first move is called Desolate Pool. It is a uh, close range uh, startup. Also, it puts them in a stun where they swim. Uh, they Yo, that's crazy. Can also M1 it has a straight up sand move. This weapon looks crazy. Second move is called Desert Hunt. It's uh, you have to hold on the key for this one. And if you hit someone, you put them in the air combo starter, and you knock them down. You also have uh, strong armor on that move, so you can't uh, get hit out of it. Yo, the, the uh, sand the weapon is straight up a fruit. If you have the sand fruit, it should yeah, like so buff it. I feel like. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause it's straight up a fruit down there. Go ahead, man. Go Already. Ahead. Uh, the last move is called Hook Poison Ignition. Now this is a pretty cool move. It gives some uh, rarity to the, the weapons. You activate it, you get poison, and uh, it has a rarity to do poison damage on the player. <laughs> you keep down, right, buddy. Do. You have to hit me. 
Out of all the weapons we've seen, this definitely looks the best so far. All right, so far, that's a combo starter. Yeah. Um, a combo extender and just poison yeah. damage. So just three it really good abilities. Already. Literally, and it's the most flashy. Probably a drop. Uh, boss drop. Uh, so the first move of the Santo is called Ground Rupture. Oh. So it looks like. We're we gonna buy Santo showcase. The second move is called Tremor Rush. Them and, uh, well, so they changed everything to green. Even the Bicento is green now, not blue. If you guys remember, we've seen a video of Bicento that it, like sends them really far while pricing it. Oh, it has four moves. I've never seen a move like this. Now the last move, uh, we sh we showcased this move a while ago. It's called Judgment Slash. We did it. Uh, yeah, I told y'all. That's what I was stuff. talking about. It's gonna send him far away. Yeah, look. It sent him way farther last time. Now, you see how the range is shorter compared to the video we showcased. Now it's it is gonna become a finisher. If the player is low uh, on a low HP, you can actually use this move as a finisher instead mm. of having to do execution. So it auto executes. And they'll be, uh, it'll send them, there'll be a camera, it'll send them, uh, really far away. Yo, are y'all messing with the crocodile, uh, we weapon? A while ago, but we wanted to show you the Or by Santa, they both OP. We've seen that move. Mera has one, two, three, four, five. Mera has six kills. Flame bullets. Yo, flame pillar is crazy. Use the pyro eruption. I want to get it from like a insane little view. All right, use it. Yo, I'm messing with flame. I'm messing with flame, bro. Uh, ignite. Yeah. I think gravity is still probably better so far, but flame is nice. Is that like fireflies? And if you jump into the air, you do flame torrents. That's not even the ult. That's insta activate and cut. I kind of fuss it. Oh, that move is different, I think, when you're in the air. Yo, I. Uh, use the M1 on me? Uh, I hope we see the Logie effect. So, guys, the first move is called Bison Might, it is a combo move. Also leads into an air combo. The second move is called Hoof Impact. You drop into the sky, then you smash down. It's an AOE. I want to see if there's a full form. Or only half form. As well. You don't have to wait. Yeah, where? Alright, Gracing Kicks is your next move. Yeah. There's three kicks and then a knockback. Last move, uh, Skybreaker. Then you have the transformation. This is a 2P combo, by the way. Push them up in here and kick them away. This one is called Bison Stampede. You continually rush at them and push them away. And the next move is called Bison Frenzy. It's a combo move, a more powerful uh, variant of the other move. The second move is called Seismic Stomp. Yo, it has mad moves. And also pushes them back. Also does oh, it's because there's an untransformation move. It's a power up ability. You get healing passive, and you also get a damage buff. Yo, heal is crazy. Damage. Yo, Bison, because it has passive heal move, might be OP. Or might be it's really good at least. Damage and, yeah. that, uh, then you have Bison Barrage. Basically, rush at them, you grab them, and then you need them into the air. Just like break their back. Now, you have the Bison Ultimate. You heal himself. No one is the cutscene, I'm pretty sure. Mera also had a cutscene. Just make sure you're in an M1 combo. Basically, grab them, drag them to the floor, then you push them. Put them away. And then you're the on transformation. Gepo looks less awkward on Bison than, uh, than on Allosaurus. Because, like, it's more of a human form. It looks like Bison doesn't have a full form. I don't think that's a problem. Full form is not that important, in my opinion. It'd be cool, but I don't think it's really necessary. Like in the anime, so light striking, which is slam your axe, pushing them up. It also has the ability to do uh, oh. burn damage. The second move is called light wait, kick. Wait, 
in the entire point, you're not using it on me, god damn. Oh. Second move is called Light Kick. Light Kick is broken already. I want to see if it's like Insta though, it's kind of hard to tell because they, they're shooting it close. Bro, Pika has like seven moves, it's looking nasty. Uh, wait, was that the third move? No, uh, the fourth move is called Divine Light. Like you can actually aim this. Is that like Mirror Kick? It just TPs you up? Also does burn damage. Yeah, it is. It's really fast. I don't know. I feel like it could make... I don't know. I think so. Oh, wait, is that uh, TP no, dashes too? Y'all seen that? Stardust Crusader. Oh, you could guys you seen life light or wait what move was that? They don't even have a life light. Give me a chance. <laughs> we give you a chance. What chance, buddy? Yo, Pika is looking dumb, bro. I need to look back. But Pika is gonna be a spam fast. I feel like. People gonna be spamming with this. Oh, oh you can pair up Light Ray with Light Striker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this isn't one of the most broken friends. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, uh, no. <laughs> He's like, uh, nerf, uh, shut up. Alright, yo. Hey, chill, chill, chill. chill. Now, the last one's called Light Shower. Hey, <laughs> bro, Pika is gonna uh, be baby. dumb, bro. I want it. Light Shower. You see, I'm missing literally all the shots I take. Can he aim it? <laughs> nah, you kind of can, but just kind of shoots it everywhere. It's going to be good on bosses. Similar to like GPO Pika, probably. It has way more spam potential than like GPO Pika, though, I feel like. Yeah, appreciate the effects. Gravity still might be the best fruit though. So they have there's no light flight move. The the light flight move that we're seeing is like a attack move. You you run at them and hit them. So flight is just really not gonna be a thing in this game, I guess. No flight in rail seeds, it looks like. I understand why though, because they want ships to be important. If they add flight, it's not gonna be as important, but Damn dude already dead. Alright. I don't know though, bro, cause uh, you see the Latin ones also has the ability to burn. Alright, go to next. Or do you like uh do you like TP dash as well? I don't know about no flight moves because you know some of the zones like dragon are definitely gonna have flight ready know that. And uh, uh so Goro mode has flight. We got a quick shatter. Light good though, regardless. It looking nice. We got Craig Pulse. It's a range move. Oh, Quake looking tough. We have Tetonic Plate. Is another range move. Bro, I've never seen Quake have this much range. You got a Quake uh, Eruption. Basically, it's like, oh, let me go show you the new particles. So you know do they not have the tsunami move? Or maybe the last one is. Let me show you the M ones. The the sound effects are so good on this. They're way better than they were before. Now it really feels like Quake. Okay. You see what I'm saying? M on me. Whoa, you didn't knock me back? Play shifter gotta be Tsunami Swift? Be You're cool. probably right. That's what I'm thinking. If we don't have Tsunami move, move like, I don't know. Okay. That's like the most Break iconic direction. thing they did, or Whitebeard did. That was the kick we seen before. The VFX definitely improved, I feel like. I feel like 
You can't make everybody happy with their VFX, but I think they generally look pretty good. Does that combo extend? It might. He didn't get flung. That might combo extend too. If it does, it's broken. Hey, you tell me. Amazing. Just pure amazing, you know? That little quake effect it has at the and end on the screen. The ultimate plate shifter. Cinema. Plate shifter. Yeah, but it's a tsunami. Damn, that hoe is fast! Yo, yeah, it's not that wide, but it's uh, fast. Uh, and it does a move too. Like a quake blast. Damn, and it launches them up. Uh, wait, use it from far away. I want to get it from a far range. How do you guys feel about that? Yeah, yeah, Normally, games make it area. slow, yeah. but they'll make it wide. They did the opposite. Skinny, but fast. The effects on this are good, bro. Oh, <laughs> you still get hit. <laughs> it was a jump scare I keep, bro. I think See, the, we should have put this in the in the dubstep intro, you know what I'm saying? They should have. I think the reason they did this is because when it's kind of slow and <laughs> wide, it kind of becomes Wait, sometimes useless because people can just easily jump over it. But they made it more like a normal ult, like you would just kind of cast it, I guess. Hey. So we are going to fight. We, all, we both have infinite cooldowns. Um, obviously, without infinite cooldowns, you can't do all this. But we want to show you guys what's possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> obviously, you're going to see us move spamming. Uh, the combat is sped up a little bit uh, since you've seen it uh, in the last dev vlog. So enjoy. I mean, sped up like they sped up the footage? Yeah, I think it is. Yo, Don Krieg's weapon, I feel like, was definitely visually the lamest out of the three, but it still looked nice. Yo, my ears quake is crazy. <laughs> this boy getting in it, man. <laughs> Hey, hi, dude. <laughs> oh boy, was busting. Oh god. Well, I think oh, that god. can combo extend. I think he just sold. It looked like he might be able to. Wow, I wish this game was fucking fun. This game was actually fun. And that gave me with that wound. Yo, the Pika spam is about to be unbelievable. They're gonna have to put the cooldowns, I feel like, pretty hey, long on Pika. Because it got seven the, moves. Like, and they're all spam. I can never get you. So you could maybe still use that flight move as like a mini flight, but it probably ends pretty fast. PvP actually looks fun. I agree. I don't want to judge it too much until I actually play it, but it does look look pretty enjoyable. Hey, wait, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, infinite cooldowns. They probably haven't even decided what the cooldowns are gonna be, right? You know what? I will Blocks for PvP oh, better. All right. <laughs> you just send another one. Yo, that wave is so fast, bro. It is so fast. Bro, I I just fell in love with Pika though. I want Pika. Infinite cooldowns in it. Infinite cooldowns. <laughs> People gonna think this is a built-in spawn, but <laughs> it's infinite cooldowns, guys. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I think gravity is still my second favorite fruit we've seen. What y'all? What y'all top five or top three fruits out of all the ones we've seen? We've seen Allosaurus, Bison, 
Light Mera. Hey, <laughs> this guy kind of stunned. I think it's Pika Zushi. P Pika Gravity. So Light Gravity. Probably Quake. Those three are looking clean. Get out of here, boy. <laughs> Hey man, I, I think we might be sleeping on bison. We might be. I'm staying. I, I, I'm gonna stay sleeping on bison for now though, cause bison look good. But like, I don't know. That's just how zones look like they're gonna be. Zones are more like physical, and uh, compared to like Pika and stuff, I don't feel like it's gonna be as useful because Pika is gonna be able to spam all the bosses, spam all the PVE, have range, and it's still gonna be good for PVP. Come here, Bison is gonna be a lot less versatile. She's oh, gonna be kind of like. You, you guys know what I'm saying? Yo, one dollar donation. Yo, point break. I appreciate that, bro. W. I can't fruit spray. That that um, quick eruption move is so hot to learn. Yo, y'all can like the stream too, by the way, and the video. Yeah, I should. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they gotta they're probably gonna show us bison PvP versus uh Mera after this. Bro, the crazy part about Mera is Enkai isn't even its ult. Its ult is the uh, the cutscene. So it has Mera as a bear, uh, Enkai as a base move, like the big fireball. He says, Swift, you want a $100 donation? <laughs> yes. Gonna be even like that. I can spawn moves sooner. <laughs> I haven't finished. Cool. Light looks mid. This looks so easy yeah. to dodge. I don't think I agree. This is the. Oh, the light ray that. move does not look easy to dodge at all. That? I don't know how you're dodging that. Ooh, but I feel like you could Gepo up out of that. Uh, at, least, at least hit you with that. I know I did. <laughs> I don't know. I think light is going to be more of a PvE fruit, bro. I feel like light is going to be a PvE fruit. Yo, uh, yeah, way shorter, but they showed so much. They didn't show Bison or Mera in PvP, but uh, I'm going to end the YouTube video here. For those that watch the YouTube video, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I, I stream this for those that uh, don't know. Uh, so make sure to like and subscribe so you get the next stream type beat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end the recording. Love y'all. Later.